All right, here we are coming up to Collin Creek Mall, and here's the old sign. And it looks like they've already looks old and tired. And this is today is July 31st, 2019, and today is, is the last day the mall will be open. So we're gonna go take a tour of the mall and say goodbye. This is in 4K, high def, so we can preserve the mall before it's demolished. And it's really sad. You see some malls that are still going strong, and I wish this one was, because this is the mall I grew up with. And it's sad to see it go, but I guess everything changes in this world. So there's, this is the entrance we used to either come into the uh, Sears entrance or we'd come in over here to the number three entrance. And then back here in the back where the big lots is back there, which I'm just going to walk back there. Uh, and we're going to talk about that once I get back there. But it used to just be a big field. All right, this is the Sears store. And it was one of the, one of the first to go, the, the big anchor stores to go. And it's an awesome store. We, um, the cool thing, it had the auto center. Which is really neat. You can come up here and put your car in and then go walk around the mall. And those seem to do a good job. And this is where they had all the mowers and stuff hidden off in here in this area. And they're all gone, as you can see. And they left. So let's take a look at inside the uh, store and see what's what it looks like in there. And it still has a cool Sears Roebuck and Company around for like a hundred years or something man everything everything changes I don't know if we can see in here oh wow yeah you can see all the way to the uh, mall it's supposed to be open today but uh, I don't know if it's going to be hopefully we're about to see and see now down there where they have big lots and these other stores this used to just be a field and on the other side of the field, where there's more uh, shopping, was apartment complexes. And we used to live in those apartment complexes. And we would come over here, and they used to have an arcade in this mall. And we'd go into the arcade and play the arcade. And, and you know, during summer, it was really fun. And they had the big tunnels underneath here, huge tunnels, three of them. And which I've done a video on that. And they're going to keep the tunnels. They were thinking about bulldozing the tunnels up and then burying them and just having the creek because the tunnels are actually for the, the creek that runs through here. Um, but I think they decided against that. They're going to keep the tunnels. Uh, here's. So I'm going to uh, pause this and we're going to go over to the one of the main entrances and then pick up again. It looks like some cars are here, so hopefully it's open and everybody's saying their goodbyes to the concrete mall. It looks like we have some people walking in. We may have to uh, talk to them and see what, they, see what they're saying about Collin Creek Mall. Here's the uh, Sears package pickup. This was a uh, hopping place where you could also do Lelways in there. And it's like there's some people maybe trying to come in to see the see it for the last time and hopefully it's still open. We'll have to try to interview somebody if the they walk up here so here's a concrete number two so this is a pretty popular entrance along with that number three on the other side and this is where they used to have the arcade that you could go in and play and there it is the number two beautiful entrance and we're gonna go in here and take a look and see we got some people coming over here and they look like they're gonna check out the mall here one last time let me see if I can talk to him. How are y'all doing? Y'all come. Hey, do y'all know that today's the last day for the mall to be open? Yep. Y'all coming to sit, say goodbye? <laughs> yep. <laughs> we are too. How long have y'all lived around here? Oh, a long time. Sixty years or so. Y'all remember uh, that was all a field and apartments yeah, over there? Yes. Who are we? Who are we filming for? Uh, for YouTube. YouTube. Oh. I did put it on YouTube. So, uh, are y'all going to miss this mall? Is this a sad day for y'all? I miss it a great deal. Yeah. Me too. I used, I used to, I used, actually used to work at Hagen dazs down there scooping ice cream. I don't know Did if you, you remember that. Mm. By the glass elevator. Yeah, I don't, don't remember that. Yeah, certainly no Hagen dazs 
Well, I'm gonna go in here and do some. All right, this is one of the main entrances. They used to have the arcade was back here to the back when you first came in. And then um, it, it stayed for a while and then it went out. But here's the Sears from the other direction, like the inside. So they are open today and this is it. This is the last day that they're gonna be open. It's a sad day for the mall. Um, looks like a lot of people are coming here just to say their goodbyes. And there's Sears. I remember coming here as a kid. And it's gone, ghost town. And then here is all the stores look like they're, they're gone. I don't see any. Because the last time we were here, they had a couple stores that were open. Um, but it looks like every one of them have uh, gone out. But we'll have to look further down. Looks like they have some filming crews down here doing some filming also. Uh, or taking some pictures. So I guess they're trying to get the last pictures before they start demolishing. Sad day. And then here is one of the... Take a look from this view. All of its glory. So this is uh, this is it. I think I always thought the mall had beautiful architecture with these arches and how the light came in. I just thought it was a gorgeous mall. And even look at the tile. <clears throat> the tile is still in amazing condition considering the age of it. It's incredible uh, the job that they did on this mall. All right, we're gonna. Uh, pause this and, and go down a little further down by the food court and where the glass elevator is and then we'll pick back up and then uh, see way back. today's the last day are you saying your goodbyes Woo! all right well I'm gonna pause this and we'll come back when we go to the food court all right, we're here at the food court. Now, a couple of these, like I said, a couple of these places were still holding strong, but it looks like, uh, doesn't look like any of the, it looks like JC Penney's is still down there. They haven't cleared out everything, but it looks like they're closed and they're not gonna be uh, selling. And there's the, the famous, beautiful glass elevator. And this has been here for so many years and we've ridden this thing up and down many, many times. I, but I remember when coming here as a kid and riding in this, I thought, oh my God, it's the most amazing thing, a glass elevator. That is a, incredible. And right down here was haagen ice cream. <clears throat> and I worked there as a kid scooping ice cream. That was a really cool job, pretty popular job. A lot of people uh, came in there to get them ice creams. And we would load up some big cones in there. So all of the food court is now uh, totally gone. We have some more people. A lot of people in here saying their goodbyes. You can see some people over here filming. Uh, a lady with her phone trying to get the last you can. A lot of people have some sad faces on. At the, cause they, and a lot of, they, one lady was saying she was here 25 years and another couple said 60, the first couple we talked to. So here is the food court. Get a good shot of this. And we'll go down in the glass elevator here in just a moment. They used to have that pizza place over here that was really popular and it, it held on for a while but then it finally went out too and this was the actual food court. We got all the chairs out of here now. Amazing Jake's. Amazing Jake's hasn't been there too long but um, they were one of the last ones standing too but it looks like JC Penney's which is amazing. Uh, is still holding strong and they may even be open now it looks like they just have a um, the door open but I don't think they could sell anything well maybe they can because today is the last day that the mall is open to the public July 31st 2019 and we're gonna go over here and take a look and see what's going on with JC maybe they're trying to get some last last sales here hey you saying goodbye to the mall mm -hmm. how long have you known this mall I was here opening day Opening Eight years old. Oh, are you getting any emotions? Oh yeah. It's been a big year of loss and this just Oh uh, tops it, it off. Hit me just now, so. This is an incredible mall. I remember as a kid coming here too. Oh yeah. And they took the fountains out that That was it. That kinda messed it up and then they didn't do 
do what they needed to do to keep up with the changes in other malls. And yeah, because some of the, like models. Valley View got bulldozed, but some of the other malls are doing okay. Yeah. yeah. I blame the ownership, honestly. There were things they could have done to keep people going. To keep it going. I wish they would have. You remember uh, Hagen Dawes ice cream downstairs? I used to work there as a kid, oh, yeah. scooping that ice cream. Yeah. I worked at Mervyn's. I got my uh, homecoming dress for my junior year at Lord and Taylor when that was still there. My sister worked at the Cookie Place. Oh, I love the Cookie Place. I was obsessed with the Hello Kitty store. And, yeah. Well, say everything comes in end. Yeah. Good to see you. <laughs> Uh, well, and there's a patron. She was came here when it first opened back in the day, and now it's coming on the last day. And she said she's getting emotional, and I can't blame her because it's a uh, it's an emotional time for Concrete Mall. They still open in there? Yes, Penny's is going to stay open through the construction. Oh, good info. Okay, yeah. so Penny's is uh, the last one standing. Yeah. All right. Take care. All right, she, you heard it from her. She said Penny's is the last store standing. They're going to stay open at, uh, through the construction. So I guess everybody's still going to be working and taking care of this, this mall. So I guess you could still come and see the mall, but you'll have to come to Penny's um, because they will still be open during the construction. All right, well, that was JC Penny's, and uh, we're, we'll go around to the other side, but it looks like it's the last store standing so they get the they get the award or the trophy they're going to stay open so if you still haven't been to the mall and you still want to come i guess you won't be able to come to the inside of it but you will be able to go to jc penny's and look out the i guess they'll have those doors over there closed but you'll be able to look out and say your goodbyes if you haven't already and we're going to go down the glass elevator and take a look at the play area and then we'll go to the other end of the mall and then wrap it up we'll go down there by macy's and then we'll wrap up the video but um, looks like some sad faces and, you know, I don't blame them. I'm sad face too, because it's, uh, and a lot of people are emotional. You know, they've been going to this mall for, one lady said 25 years. Uh, so it's a long time. Uh, and then see something, something come and something go. Easy come and easy go. All right, here's the famous glass elevator. We're gonna go into it 4K one last time. And this will be the last time ever. And there's still got the same button, same old button. Uh, whoever made that did a good job on it. So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna do some filming. It's a little dirty up there if I need to. I guess they don't care now. <clears throat> and still the same, everything's still the same. I mean, it's held up very well. They have the two, the two floors, one or two. We got a choice. And down here we got, let's see, let's go to one. There's the kid area. And here it are, the last, the last ride in the elevator. Let's do this, let's send the elevator up and then we'll film it as it's going up for one last time. Run out here. We'll watch it go up in 4K. Well, maybe it knows no one's on it. Oh no, there it goes. The ghost elevator. That's still beautiful elevator, even after all these years, I think. So there it is, the glass elevator. So we're gonna take a look at the uh, kids area over here. And then we're gonna go down to Macy's area and take a look and then we're gonna wrap up this video. So what I find interesting about this kids area is these play things that they have out here. They've been here forever and they're in such incredible good shape for all these kids jumping on them and all of them. You'd think that they would be torn or something, but they're all in still excellent shape. It's almost like you'd like to get these and put them in your yard or something, your backyard for the kids. Um, but the carpet probably needs a little cleaning and stuff, but uh, everything else is in really good condition. And there's some somber faces. 
because they know the mall. This is the last day. Do you know today's last day for the mall? Has, how long have you been coming to this mall? Maybe since 98. A long time. Is it sad to see it go? Definitely. For me too. Yeah, there used to be a ice cream place right here, Hagen Dodge, and then all the food courts and the arcade area. All gone. Just nothing stays the same. Absolutely. All right, we well, take care. Enjoy your last day. This is a bathroom area they have down here. They have one down here, and then they had one upstairs by the food court. And then they had a couple others, but this is a pretty popular one because it's over by the kids' area. And they have a few escalators. I think they have two in the mall. They have this one that's in the center, and then they also have one at the end. And it looks like they're still running, even on the last day. So, but the fountains have gone, um, which were uh, beautiful when they were running. I remember uh, when we'd come over here, with, uh, people would throw money in here. There'd be tons of money in here. And then they would, um, people would try to get here and get that money. But there used to be a ton of money, so people were making lots of wishes back in the day. And there's the escalator still rocking, man, after all these years. <laughs> So there's the food court in the center of the mall. Let's get a good shot of that, and then we're gonna walk down and see um, where Macy's was before it went out. And you see, again, this is beautiful architecture. Look, look at this. And this is a very old and still uh, doing amazing what they do with these beams and the light, how it comes in. I just think it's beautiful. Yeah, and it looks like, like I said, it looks like emotional times. You see a lot of the patrons coming in here, and um, they, they, you know, it's, it brings back a lot of emotions. Of, of, okay, so we're going to go down here to Macy's and take a look and see, see how it's going to fare because this was the last um, big anchor store, or was it one of the big anchor stores? It was one of the first to go down. And we're going to take a look down here. So if you've come down this, to this mall, um, there's you know a couple of certain main entrances. Um, basically, you have a straightaway here that uh, goes from the Macy's area, and then it would lead into the main section of the mall. And then on the other side, if you can see it, where we came from, it goes straight down and leads over where Sears is at. And then if you take a left there, that's where the J.C. Penney store was, or still is. So they're still rocking. And look, so, so apparently today they can have stores open, um, but it looks like nobody is except JC Penney's because they're going to go ahead and stay through. But it almost looks like I thought there might be a store there selling some food. Hey, might be a good idea. Sit out here and sell some lemonade or something. And here, so this is the last entryway. There was a giant shoe store here. And it stayed almost to the end too, but then it finally went out. And so we're going to go take a look at where the Macy's is in the other entry entryway here. And and there's the one lady that we talked to. She's heading up to the escalators, taking her last pictures, saying goodbye, saying her goodbyes to the to the mall. And so we'll go and look down at this entryway and then we're going to come back in, go back to the uh, glass towers one more time and then we're going to wrap it up. My family was like, yes. So, um, yeah. so you used to go to Richardson Square Mall first. You remember they, that kind of went down because mm -hmm. they had a Sears <laughs> over there. And then, so then y'all started coming over here? Yeah, because we lived over here. And so we were going to Richardson Square beforehand because we didn't have a choice. Mm -hmm. And then they built Clone Creek and we were just so excited. So I've been coming here. I grew up here. I remember I was telling her I used to get dropped off by my mom and I would hang out with my friends for like six hours <laughs> just doing whatever. It was a good time. Yeah, it was fun. And the glass elevator. You remember yeah. that? So we just came to say our goodbyes even though um, I really need to be working. Did you get emotional? At any um, time? It's, it's very sad because both my parents are gone and, you know, it's just memories. And so it's like, oh, something else is gone. 
But it's going to be, it's a rebirth of something. It's going to be great. That's the way, yeah. And everything changes. I, and I it's tell her stuck. all the time, I'm like, things change, people move, life changes. You just kind of got to go with it. Yes, but you do. We are here to say goodbye because she's seen Santa here a couple times as well. And so. Does she get sad? Are you sad? Are you sad? Maybe a little bit? <laughs> All right, here's the other entrance, entrance number four. And this is, uh, I'd never used this entrance a lot because I didn't come down to Macy's a lot. I always thought, I mean, because I think Macy's was like, back in the day, was like really expensive. And, and we didn't have a lot of money, so there was no way I was going to Macy's. Um, but uh, it's a beautiful architecture on this building too, man. It's so sad to see these buildings go. Uh, look at that. They did an incredible job with those tiles. Let me, let's get in there so you can take a better shot. And this again is uh, entrance four, entrance number four. And that was the entrance that's, that you may have used when you came here. Let's go take a look at some of this architecture. Yeah, I just think it seems really incredible. And yeah, they had the, uh, the colored tiles is what it was. And those colored tiles are really holding up over the years. Let's see if we get a good shot of this. I mean, they've really done good. Here's a good close-up of the colored tiles. I guess one day, when whatever they put up that's new, you know, people are going to grow up around that and for years, and then maybe in 20, 30, 40 years, um, they're going to be doing the same thing that we're doing right now. Somebody's going to be filming it saying, oh, man, they're tearing it down. That's just crazy, huh? Things always change. Nothing stays the same, unfortunately. Well, I guess if it didn't, this mall wouldn't have been here. It's just still sad. Sad to see things go. And this tag says no smoking, no photography, and no soliciting. So they don't want you taking pictures in there back in the day can't really see too much in there <clears throat> this was the last this was one of the signs they had on here store is now closed come see us at shops at Willow Bend so they and then it says I don't know how old this sign is it says hi there store hours Monday through Saturday 10 to 9 and then Sunday 11 to 7 free Wi-Fi so that must be a newer newer one because they didn't have Wi-Fi back in back in the day when we used to go they didn't even have cell phones. We didn't have nothing. But we had a good time. We always had fun. All right, well, we're going to go and film on the other side of Macy's and then maybe film a little more going back the other way and then call it a wrap. We're going to do a pan here. Uh, this is the parking lot that's closest to the Highway 75. There's Amazing Jake's. All right, we're coming up the trail here to the other side of Macy's. And they have a little, some nice walking area, some shade trees. Some, these are some beautiful trees and they've been here for a long, long time. And they're still healthy and growing. And so here's the other entrance. The glory days of Macy's is over. But when they were there, they, they were an awesomely beautiful place. This was high end. Uh, it looks like somebody got up here and wrote something. I don't know how old this is, or is this actually a part of the, No, it looks like it's actually made into the... I can't really tell. Yeah, no, it's, it's actually tiled in, so... I don't know who that is. This is 1980, something Smith, I think. So maybe that's one of the people who helped build this, or... There's the famous, beautiful tile. Excellent. Whoever made came up with that, did, I thought they did a great job. And just different colored little tiles. So this is the other entrance. Big anchor store, Macy's. Macy's is gone. Pan. Yep, 
Yeah, from here, when you're outside, you can hear the roar of the highway, Highway 75 over there. You can hear all the cars. All right, this is the other side of Macy's. That's where they brought in the big trucks, backed up the big trucks and loaded all the freight in there. Um, which is interesting, but, you know, way back in the day, remember this because a lot of stuff if you look at it it says made in China but back in the day um, almost everything said made in the USA and had the little made in the USA flag on it you know everybody's real proud of uh, owning a company or, or manufacturing some product so it's really really nice time but then um, they started with those uh, free trade agreements they called them but basically um, you know it's hard for people to compete with with other countries uh, when they could work for so cheap but here is the the other side of the building and this is the last side it's a huge huge building macy's was um icon of dallas they still have the macy's over at the uh, willow bend as we've seen on the door and then they also have it at um, the other mall down by dallas Let's see here and so let's take a look at, I think this is, we've seen three and two and four. So you would think this would be the number one entrance. So let's go take a look. And there's a lot of cars over here, but uh, they do have JCPenney's is over there on that side. So probably a lot of those for JCPenney's, which I'm surprised people, you know, what are they going out of business now? Everybody wants to come. But, but it looks like a lot of these cars are going in here to the mall. So this is must have been a pretty popular, popular entrance, and this should be number one, but it looks like it's broken. So I would think this is the number one entrance, but it looks like it got broken out. If you've ever been here, and we're let's we're gonna take a look in there and just do a panorama of the mall here, parking lot. But I believe this was number one entrance. And then they labeled one two three and four and so we're going to pause this and we're going to go in and then take a look in here and then we're going to go back around the other side and just do one more shot all right this is jc penny's front entrance and they're going to remain open like we said uh, they got a big sign on here come on in so they're going to they're going to keep selling and they're not going to be going off for a while they still got business to conduct which is pretty amazing And there's actually, down here, there's some more small retail stores. And I actually used to work at a, there's a toy store down there. Now, I, I forget the name of it now, but it went out of business. But it was a cool toy store. I wish I could remember the name of it. And it's kind of like uh, Toys R Us or something. Um, but I guess they didn't last too long. And the guy that, uh, there was a guy that just walked in here and he said, hey, he, you know, all of his friends are talking about coming over here to see the mall one last time. And he said that, um, he used to work at Babbage's, and I was like, man, I, I forgot all about that store, Babbage's. Um, but he used to work over there at Babbage's. So we're going um, to continue on around, and, and we're going to end back up over at the Sears store uh, where, we, where we came in, and then we'll go ahead and wrap up the video at that point. All right, this is the other side of JCPenney's, the other entrance, and it kind of backed up to the Sears right there. And this is, and they have a huge, huge parking lot here. It's amazing how they can make these giant parking lots. Just incredible. And, you know, it's still in good shape. And, but it's, it's a done deal. There's no going back at this point. All right, we're going to continue on and we'll come back. Okay, so this is on the other side. There's the JC Penney's, and I thought this was Sears. I was telling you this is Sears, but um, there's the docks where they'd load up, load up stuff. But I'm not for sure because there's Sears is over there. I'm not for sure what store this was. They had JC Penney's, Sears. Um, well, if you know, let me know in the comments. I'd love to know. I forgot what store this was actually. Uh, so there's JC Penney's or Macy's, JC Penney's, two anchor stores, and then there's this third one, and then. S and in Sears, so I don't know what, was this Montgomery Wards or something? But we're gonna go and we're almost back to Sears, so we've almost made a full circle and we'll pick back up over there. 
All right, we started at Sears and now we're gonna end at Sears. And we're gonna pan around for one last time to say goodbye to an old friend, an awesome mall. We had incredible times. Had tons of fun at this mall. Love this mall. Sorry to see it go. Hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you were able to make it over to the mall before it closed. And if you haven't, like I said, you can go to JC Penney's and look through the look through the opening. And you can still drive around on the outside and walk around. And just the inside will be closed. Alright, thanks for watching. Take care. Have a great day.